Okay, so you've watched me model the walls, the windows, the doors, all that basic stuff. Let's get to the roof. Of course, on this house, I have just a very simple shed roof. So that makes it a lot easier for us. But I'm going to show you some other things uh, that will help you make other kinds of roofs as well. So let's make a new layer called Roof. Uh oh, I didn't mean to put that on there. Side elevation reference. There we go. This check mark here means that that's your current layer. So if you draw an object, you'll be drawing on that layer. I'm not sure I like how steep this roof is, but we'll try it out. So if I follow the sketch and then just go into my basic spline tools again. and outline that gives it some thickness so I'll make it about that thick go to the top view that spline needs to be make sure you're not in sub-object mode if you want to move the whole thing move it along the X something's not right about that Oh, my floor plates don't go back far enough. So these actually go way back here. Unless I've got something totally wrong here. Let's look at the floor plan. No, my floor plates are in the right place. So my elevation's in the wrong place. This wants to be, no, this wants to be like that. <coughs> so it turns out my overhang isn't as big as I thought. Or my box out here, but that's okay. Mm. This is making more sense now. I like this better. Make sure these are all corners. Let's go ahead and bring these down now because they're too high because my sketch is a little messed up. But that's easy to do because we can just go back since we've got these all as modifiers. You just go into the spline, bring this go into vertex sub-object mode and bring that spline down like that and then apply the extrude again so we have this line over here we'll give it about this much overhang on the side and then we'll just extrude it along the top of that house like that Give it a matching overhang on the other side. Something still hanging over too much in back. Oh, because my elevation is still... You can see it's not really matching up with my floor plan because it should end right there, but it's ending way over here. That's okay. We're just going to make the roof more like that. Now... There's a couple different things you could do here. If you wanted to use splines, uh, you know, I'm not going to use splines because it's just not as easy as using a poly. So if I convert this to edit poly and select, this is going to be a metal standing seam roof here. So if I select those two edges and connect them, this is going to be all the seams in our roof. So that looks good right there. Then you can chamfer them. Oh, make sure you don't get it all twisted up. Okay, now you go to top view. <coughs> Excuse me. 
select all these. Now with all those selected, we can do a simple poly face extrude. And then we'll have our seams in our roof. Mm, maybe we should go a little higher. And there we have a standing seam roof. On the underside of this, I want to make kind of a different ma different material. I want these like wood slats under here. So that'll come later, but I want to inset this a little bit to give it kind of a fascia or a, a, just a metal edge that wraps the corner. So this face will be metal and this red face is going to be the... Actually, let's inset it a little more. And then this red face is going to be the wood slats eventually. I'm just going to depress that a little bit just to kind of give a line of delineation there. So there's a nice little roof for us. Our little house is coming along just fine. Kind of weird, but that's okay. It's showing you the, the right idea. Now, if this was a gable roof, there's a couple different ways to do it. If you have a roof plan in CAD, you can just trace it just like this. Pretend I have a gable roof here. Make these all corners again, of course. And then you could just put this normal modifier on it, normal modifier. And then you could go to the elevation and say, okay, where is this? Where's the ridge of this gable? Just like that. And then you could go along and build everything just like that. Oh, let's turn that normal modifier on. Okay, so you could build it piece by piece like that. Or if you had a roof plan, you could also do this, turn it into edit poly, and then you could trace the different ridge lines of that roof using the cut tool. So you can snap the cut tool to that corner, go there, and then there, and then there, and then, I mean, if you're tracing something, you'd know exactly where to click. I'm just winging it here. Then there'd be a ridge going across there. Then you could take a simple, go out of the cut tool, go out of the cut tool and select just this edge there and lift it up to the proper height of that ridge. Why is that working? Oh yeah. My points are a little bit off here. So I go in and clean it up just a bit. Kind of like that. You can see my edges don't really look crisp there, they kind of look rounded a little bit. That's because of smoothing. Um, I'm not going to go into a full lesson about smoothing, but in order to get rid of that, you can go down to these polygon smoothing groups and just clear all, and then now it looks crisp. Or you can put a smoothing modifier on, like this, smooth, and you can just make sure auto smooth is unchecked and it won't smooth anything so if auto smooth is on that's still not showing anything but anyway that's you can control the same things as you can inside the poly using this modifier so now I got a nice crisp roof there so that's another, uh, a couple other ways to create roofs uh, hopefully that's helpful regardless of what kind of roof you're trying to create and like I said with everything there's multiple ways to do it I'm trying to show you, give you all the tools necessary to build whatever you can imagine. So that's how you do roofs.